guys what is going on welcome back to the channel ben the bane davis here yes with another ufc 298 video alexander volkanovsky takes on a guy who was called the dark horse of the division now he is near the top of it Ilya taporia the spaniard himself seeks to claim ufc gold i've got some opinions on it without further ado let's get right in new look by the way new look if you like the template let me know um <laughs> i don't hate it i think it looks i think it looks quite all right so alexander volkanovsky is coming off of a loss to islam makachev it's his second loss in the ufc both of his ufc defeats have come at the hands of the same guy islam number one pound for pound um which i think is important to remember when we think about um his ufc tenure and who he is as an athlete now the rematch is is pretty interesting because one of the things that Alexander Volkanovsky said is leading up to it, he was drinking every day for three to four weeks. He was hitting the bottle pretty hard, came off the couch essentially for it, um, and paid the ultimate price by losing in the first round uh, via head kick. So I, th there's a lot of reasons why he took that fight many of them financial i believe he got an, a, an insane deal significant upgrade from his uh, prior ufc contract to come in and save the pay-per-view unfortunately it has cast a lot of doubt on whether or not he will be successful in this i think fifth or sixth what uh what title defense is this so he got the belt off of holloway one defense two defense three defense fourth defense five defense sixth so this will be his sixth de defense of the ufc featherweight belt um if he's successful my question is the turnaround right the turnaround time he got knocked out bad at the end of october this will be about four months after that i don't know i mean usually i feel with a knockout loss of that caliber you'd want to take a full six you want to take a half year off hell maybe even a full year off um sometimes depending on who you are so this is a, a somewhat quick turnaround and it actually was pushed back i believe it was supposed to be in january but was moved thankfully um that gives volk even more time now Ilya Taporia, let's talk about him he's six and zero within the ufc his level of competition is pretty interesting when you break it down so the debut against yusuf Zilal, damon jackson the wizard himself ryan hall uh, and everyone was pretty high on Ryan at that point in time, um, even though Ilya was a, a big favorite <laughs> going into that. Heads up to lightweight to take on Jai Herbert. And this was a tough one, right? He gets knocked down by that head kick, and it looked like, oh, Ilya Tapur is about to get fraud checked. Uh, and then Jai died. Then Bryce Mitchell, he takes on um, Bryce and, and really just beat him at his own game, brutalized him, and submitted him. Then the 50 42 over Josh Emmett. This was a beat down this was a five round domination not sure how josh ate some of those shots and stayed in it and that's how he's arrived at alexander volkanovsky so he doesn't fight a guy like mavsvar evloov doesn't fight a guy um like max holloway doesn't fight a guy like arnold allen doesn't fight a guy like yeah rodriguez or brian ortega i feel like there's a lot of people within this division that um Ilya Tapori hasn't seen it. I feel like the, the high levels of 145, Ilya Tapori hasn't necessarily tested himself against, right? Josh Emmett's number seven right now. Um, Bryce Mitchell is number 10. So he's got two wins inside the top 10. Uh, no top five victories. And I think that's going to play a big role in this because Alexander Volkanovsky's only been facing the highest level of competition. Let's, let's you know... Spade is spade. The Chan Sung Jung fight um, maybe wasn't exactly the highest level of competition. Sure, TKZ uh, back in 2022. But Islam Makachev on two occasions. Yair Rodriguez, Max Holloway three times, Brian Ortega, the top guys in the division, you know. And I'm sure he's going to be taking on Mavsvar Ivlov, um later this year if, if he's successful with the defense. So I feel he's, he's performed at a higher level. He's beaten a higher level. And while Ilya Teporia looks fantastic, I feel like looks can be deceiving. So let's take it to the Twitter community and see what they have to say um, regarding this featherweight matchup. So Volk every day leading up to the fight with Islam. Interesting one. Someone's going to have to go and change their bio on Instagram. What a humbling experience that'll be. Obviously, Ilya's been playing the mind games. 
15 and 0 UFC world champion. Here's an interesting one. Let's listen to what. Let me get my let me get my lo-fi beats off. This is Betty Vault, father of three. Yeah, exactly. Father, father of three, four. It's going to be father of four. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to be exactly. I'm going to be like, mate, I'm doing this for you. You're going to bounce back. When I'm when my days in the UFC's are done, all right, maybe this is it. But it starts here. Start changing the way you. You know what I mean? Start earning that shit. You know what I mean? You ain't no movie star. You ain't no superstar yet. You got to earn that shit. So. Uh, that bet, you're fired up, Bob. You're fired up. I can feel it. I can, I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like it's, I'm just like, I, I earn my respect. I earn my, you know, I earn my belt. I, I'm not doing this to be a prick at the. I, I think there's a lot of truth within that. Alexander Volkanovsky's paid the dues, right? He's defended this title five separate times. Consensus, one of the greats, if not the greatest featherweight of all time. Especially when it's all said and done. I mean, he's still. Um, a little bit young. I think Volkanovsky is 33, 30, oh, 35, actually. Well, uh, mm, at 145, he's displayed very few cracks, very few weaknesses. Um, so I thought that was interesting. I will say, you know, he's saying that you're not a movie star, you're not a superstar. Ilya does have 2.2 million followers. I have it on good authority and good knowledge that in Spain, he is a pretty big celebrity. So I think, I think he is big. Um, so I don't know if Volk's correct there, but you got to earn it. And this is a huge, I don't want to say step up necessarily, but again, level of competition that Ilya's been facing is below what Alexander Volkanovsky's been beating for years. Let's take it to, um, another interview with Volkanovsky and hear what he has to say. Um, and really put it on him. You know, I don't think, look, my goal for this one isn't just winning. You know, I want to go out there. I, I use, I'm, I'm saying I want to embarrass this bloke you know what i mean like, it's not that i'm trying to embarrass him but what i plan on doing going out there i want him to realize that there is levels i want him to be like oh wow you know i'm i'm nowhere near this level which is going to be very embarrassing after all the talk he's been doing so you know the polite way of saying it i'm just going to teach him a lesson but he will be embarrassed he will be uh, you know eating his own words he will he will literally have to go back to the drawing board and realize all right that's a whole nother level how do i get there um, now, I do want to say this. Ilya Teporia has been talking a lot of shit. He's been saying a lot of things, that this is going to be the easiest fight in his uh, in his career. Um, I'm trying to think. There was, yeah. I mean, one of, one of the easier fights of my career so far. Um, already changing his Instagram bio to UFC World Champion 15-0. and 0. V Various other things, right? Playing the mind games playing the tricks, which I think he should be doing, right? I think the lead-up to this has been fun. It's been very interesting to see a guy in Ilya Teporia that has talked so much shit. Um, and, you know, he's got different schools of thought behind him. There's two communities, one that fully believes Ilya and one that views his shit talk and goes, man, what is this guy smoking? What is he on? Um, let's take it to this full quote about Volk leading up to the Islam rematch. I'm known for being disciplined all year round. 24-7, and I just wasn't that time. I was really disappointed. I was more upset with who I was in the previous months leading up to that. I was drinking every day for like three or four weeks. Honestly, that's unheard of for me. Like every day, I've never, ever done that. Now, the last thing I want to get into here is Volk's mentality. He's spoken that outside of camp, when he doesn't have a fight coming up, he gets into these deeply depressive bouts. He finds himself lost. And taking a fight like the one against Islam maybe was, was a, a desperation attempt to get out of that slump. He's like, oh, this is a golden opportunity, a, um, a, a, a hand that I can grab and, and pull myself back up from, and it didn't work out, and he paid the price again. May, I, I just I want him to be coming into this fight with the best mentality, the best reasons for it, not I need to escape this um, period that I'm in, this, this blank spot, and this negative space that I've found myself ruminating in and um, sitting on. I want him to come in because he's a fired up champion and this has been a great camp and he's uh, ready to defend and physically, mentally, everything's well and everything's in check. I think if he comes in here with the improper focus and the incorrect mentality, right, the discipline um, that he's spoken about in that, that rematch with Islam, I think we might see Ann New. I think Ily Teporia has a good chance uh, to crack Volk, drop him, and either club and sub or 
a ground and pound TKO. But I firmly believe that this is a huge step up for Teporia. I think that Alexander Volkanovsky's display that he is pound for pound, again, top two minimum um, on any given day. And the skill set that he brings in, I don't think is one that Ilya's faced or gotten through before. You know what I mean? So I have a lot of belief in the champion, but with how that rematch went and the decision-making he had leading up to it, it does cause concern. So we'll see. UFC 298, let me know what you think about that main event. Who's going to reign supreme at 145? Is it and still or is it and new? Make sure you like, make sure you sub, and fuck off.